This is Vegas All Net Radio, the final frontier of free speech. Views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the hosts and guests and do not necessarily reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company. Welcome back to SinCityBounty.com, the only podcast where we get to cuss and talk to people who support Trump. <laughs> well, I don't think it's the only podcast that... I've heard it on other podcasts. <laughs> it's the only one ever. The only it's the one only one that matters. It's the only one that could find somebody to come on and admit. Okay. <laughs> it's the only one where fat chicks get to cuss and talk to people who support Trump. No, that's not true either. I listen to other uh, BBW plus size whatever podcasts. And they do a lot of cursing, a lot of sex talk on a lot of those. <laughs> Less sex talk here. These days. These days. Although, I don't know. <laughs> when you have a 20-minute riff on how you masturbate, True. I think we do quite a bit of sex talk on I this show. I think I've done a whole 20 minutes on how I We I mean, have us? done. Uh, the first 20 minutes of our show is always on something... We we did Tumblr porn one one show. We one. did your Groupon Z, your Groupon, Groupon vibrators, Groupon yeah. bouncing seat vibrator. We've done it on masturbating. We we talk some sex on this show. We must be all hard up for it or something. Unless you're getting it on the regular. Are you getting it on the regular, uh, Toxy? No. No. You. Uh, your man's in California. No, no, no. He's back right now, but like. So there were some extenuating circumstances while we couldn't get it done the first couple of days he was back. And then I started my period. So hopefully we're... So you're not getting it on the regular? Not right now, no. I haven't gotten it for a couple of years since my uh, uh, lover passed. What about you, uh, guest in studio? Do you have like a fake name you want to use or do you want to use your regular name? Well, let's make one up. Okay. <laughs> we can't use the cursor of the week one, so you got to pick another one. <laughs> <laughs> Trumpeter. Trumpeter. <laughs> Trumpeter. That's what I called him the other day. Did you? Yeah. Mystery uh, Trump supporter. Mystery Trump Mystery supporter. Mystery Trump supporter. Do you get sex on the regular? Do you mind talking about it? You did come on the show. <laughs> <laughs> there were, remember, there once were rumors that we did this show naked, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Define regular. If it's yearly, yes, I'm getting it regularly. <laughs> I, I, I like, what would regularly be like? Once a week, on the weekend, maybe yeah, once I mean, every couple of weeks. Anything you could set your watch to. You know, it's Saturday at 9 p.m. I'm getting a boner. Yeah. Oh, I get a boner regularly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my boner on another person. Do you happen to have a significant other that you regularly get laid with? No, unfortunately, it's been dry lately. I gotcha. So you, uh, it's, it, maybe that's why we talk about sex all the time. Maybe. It's We're because we are frustrated. not getting it on the regular. So I asked my boyfriend this question just the other night, actually. Have you ever paid for sex? <laughs> we are definitely not using my name. Yes. <laughs> one time. One time. In another country. In an Asian country? No, no, no. It was um, uh, Costa Rica. <laughs> Latin. America. Arizona. A whole other country. <laughs> no. Oh, country state. State. I meant state. <laughs> It's a good thing you're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I'm, I, 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 I have never actually, like, literally paid a hooker for sex or a male. What is a male hooker still called a hooker? Yeah, so, I've is never paid a gigolo. I, I don't gigolo. think they're called. I don't think gigolo. Called that's they're called gigolo. They're escort. Just so you know, gigolo, the word for male prostitute, I guess. That word in Thai, gigolo, means thief. Just, I, just something you should know. Uh, anyway. Um, I have never actually paid a gigolo, like a gigolo proper for sex, but I have had sex where I've given them cab fare money <laughs> <laughs> so they could that, leave that my count. place. That doesn't count, that doesn't but count I would do pain. the same exact thing. I'd be like, oh, that was great. Here's 20 bucks. Get the fuck out. I have done that. And, you know, I packed some cookies on the way. <laughs> was this where the fuck are you, Will? Uh, no. No? No. <laughs> um, can I just say, like, really quick to any guys listening, if we have sex and you want to send me with some cab money and cookies, I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally acceptable. I'm very excited at the thought. Although, in these days and age, it's not cab money and cookies. It's Uber and scones. Right. So, so. Wait, no. Cab money and cookies is when they were, eh, all right. 
Right. Red Lobster now. <laughs> thought we, oh, you were here the night that we talked about that. No, That's I right, right. Beyonce, remember she did yeah. the song at the uh, Super Bowl. Love me right now. Take you to Red Lobster. Oh, right, yeah. right. We, we talked about that uh, for our 20-minute riff, as a matter of fact, right, almost. Right. And, um, and I was definitely, I was agreeable to that. Oh, like, yeah. I will totally hook you up with some Red Lobster. Like, it's good. It's all right. Hell yeah, if it's good. good. I'm down with some Red Lobster. I'll take you to Red Lobster. Some yeah, cheddar I, Bay Biscuits. I would assume that you, for for your regular man, uh, mm-hmm. the man that you have in your life, you do special things when he treats you right. You cook for him and you... I do that whether he treats me right or not, but he doesn't not <laughs> treat me right, so... <laughs> At, uh, well, we were talking like about a- after a particularly uh, uh, adventurous night... I try not to snore. That's what I do for really? him. Really? You don't yeah. get up in the morning and make him breakfast in bed or no, no fresh squeeze his orange juice? <laughs> I never I never did either, which might be why I'm now divorced. I baked cookies. <laughs> I made cookies and bread. Uh, no. I did a lot of baking. Our, re- our relationship actually works in the opposite. So I cook an amazing dinner and then I get laid that night. Like that's like I cook dinner and he rewards me with sex. Well, that happens too, but... When it was one of those particular nights, man, oh yeah, I'd be baking all day. No, usually what I would reward him with is coming back on this show and going, holy fuck, you made me come till I had a headache. <laughs> so. <laughs> what about you? Are you, uh, do you do special things for a lady when they have treated you especially nice? You know? I don't think I did anything different or special for them, though. Just no? Which might be why he's divorced, too. <laughs> I gave her cat pear and cookies. Cat <laughs> 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 uh, pear and cookies. That's going to become part of our repertoire now. Oh, no, you said it was what? Uh, it, scones it should be Uber. Uber and scones. Uber. But I'm more, like, just to clarify, I'm more like Uber and Girl Scout cookies. Like, I'm not fancy Uber and, and shit. Mints. I don't need the, I don't need, you know, scones. Like, give me some fucking Oreos I'm not a, a baggie. I'm good. I'm not a fan of scones myself. I don't think they're flavorful enough. They're very... Dry and plain, hard. yeah. They're very plain tasting, and sorry, I have culture. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's just part of that. Uh, although you do like spicy food, it's part of that I bland do. American food group. It's an English food group. Is that what it is? It's from England. England. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Scones wonder. and spotted dick. <laughs> Gotta love the English. <laughs> and curdled blood pudding. Whoa. They used so to gross. sell spotted dick at Fresh and Easy in a can. <laughs> and, um, like, it was the best. I would just giggle. There's it's a bread pudding with raisins in it. There's y'all. a store here. There's a British grocery store here that you can go and buy all your favorite British foods, I guess. Well, we had, mm. when Fresh and Easy was here, um, they were British based originally before they were purchased again by the so, Japanese. Yes, and then closed. <laughs> um, Fresh and Easy. But they. Yeah, but they had a, a whole British food mm. section. They, they were liked, very cultured. I liked the fresh and easy by my house. I was I, I was too. very sad when it closed. But that's me. I uh, like those grocery stores that you can stop in and just pick up your dinner for the night. I love that. It's <laughs> quick, that, in and out. That's food what is I love fresh. Too. I love that. Um, Kelly Guy said, needless to say, she's a great cook, so she earns every bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> every Aww. single inch. And uh, Clash said, very nice, Cali guy. And then he said, IPAs and a taco. <laughs> IPAs and a taco? I'm also down for the taco. So you want to send me with some Uber money and a taco is even better. Uber money and Girl Scout. Uh, Uber, Uber and scones and Lyft and tacos. Lyft. That's what it would be. Be other Lyft and tacos. Although Uber's I'd be kind of, I don't know, after all the stories in the news lately about Uber drivers and Lyft drivers, I'm, I'm, I'm scared to even well, try Our good friend uh, service. Slim Tim is going to try out being a Lift driver really? for a little while, yeah. We'll have to have him on the show after yeah. he's done it for a little while. We will. See how it goes. Maybe we can get like secret confessions of a Lyft driver or something Maybe. like that. Maybe. That interesting, be- interesting. Um, hey, let's start out with some light news. You want to... Let's talk about the shorts. <laughs> Let us talk about the fucking shorts. The fucking so shorts. So there, <laughs> there is a website, and um, I'm just I'm pulling it back up because I had to shut everything down. My computer was being a fucker. What's it called? Um, it is on, I believe this is your favorite site, Sierra. It is on Wish. Oh, Wish. I love that place. It is a shopping website and app, and they have <laughs> they're selling plus-size shorts. Um, it is on our Facebook page. There's plus size shorts and plus size pants. But instead of like getting a plus size model, 
he just used a regular girl and had her stick both legs in one leg of the shorts. So I'll explain why they had to do this, because Wish is a very Asian-based company. They did not have any girls big enough to fill those shorts. <laughs> well, They asked Ping Mei to come and model them. Can you pass this over? So hold that up. Hold that up to the camera. That's a picture of it. Oh, oh, okay. it oh no, no, not that one. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. Wait, oh, even better? Is it an even do? better photo? I don't know. I don't know what I did. I have no idea what happened. There it is. There we go. I was like surfing through Tumblr porn and shit on there. <laughs> Jesus. So if you could see this, you see that both of her legs are in one thigh of the shorts. And um, there's a pair of pants. Like, they might even be jeggings. Jeggings. And um, same thing. So. I would buy those shorts. So though. is it an is 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 it an Asian-based company that did it? Yeah, it's an Asian-based company. Is that what Wish is? Yeah. They're total they're basically like a they are a retailer for a bunch of tiny little wholesalers out of China. So you can buy shit on there for like a dollar, two dollars. Everything's we, almost like between a dollar and five dollars in shipping from China. Are we offended by this? I'm not. I, well, but I don't give a shit enough to be offended. Number I mean, one. It's, it's, it's kind of hilarious. It is hilarious. Um, it is hilarious. I don't find offense because you know what? I wouldn't put those fucking shorts on and model them myself, so they're hideous looking. <laughs> I would totally buy those. They look like they might be l pleather. Yeah. Yeah, they're like pleather well, I mean, I wouldn't wear them to work or anything. I'd probably wear them to, like, the sex club or something, you, but... Those? They're leather shorts. They're pleather. Pleather. And they're probably 75 cents from the website. Even better. I... No. Of course, first time you wash them, they'll fall apart, so... <laughs> You, well, if you wear them to the sex club, you won't even need to watch them. They'll disintegrate <laughs> in the pool. In the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Dissolvable pants. They'll go great with my uh, tutti fruity underpants. <laughs> Clash, just to, to share, said, I like you guys because you are so honest. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, let's introduce our mystery studio guest here. Is that what we're calling him, mystery studio we're guest? We're calling him Trumpeter. Tr <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, this is Trumpeter. He is the libertarian that broke my heart because he's voting for Trump. Did now uh, we were talking about this a little bit earlier. We were talking about the difference between the Democratic caucus and the Republican caucus for voting for your candidate, right? And I like the Demo uh, the Republicans' way of caucusing because it's just like voting, right? You fill out a ballot, stick it in a box or give it to somebody, and then you walk out and leave. Well, the Democratic caucus, you have to stand there forever and, and people wait. try to ply you with cookies. But like, come to Obama's side. We have cookies. Well, I guess it's supposed to be very community-oriented and very fun. It and is not And I fun. think if I knew all my neighbors, that might be fun. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. one year I caucused as a Democrat, the first year Obama ran, I caucused as a Democrat. And I vowed to never caucus again because it was like our second or third year as a caucus state. And it was a fucking disaster. And everything I've heard since then says that it's still a fucking disaster. I want us to go back to being a primary state. Caucusing sucks. One of my favorite places to get news is uh, from Rachel Maddow. And she called it arcane. It is arcane. Mm -hmm. And it, it sounds like it's something very arcane. It, it's like, like they would do it in, mid in the Middle Ages, you no, know? It's like something you would do in second grade to be like okay everybody who likes blue stands over here and everybody who likes red stands over here and then if you don't like either you can go back there but then we're going to make you choose even though you don't want to so i wanted to i wanted to mention that um trumpeter here uh, is normally a registered libertarian correct correct and for this caucus you went and changed your voting affiliation to republican so you could vote in the Republican, or you could participate in the Republican caucus. Well, I've done that every election cycle. <clears throat> really? Yeah. So, what you like immediately yeah. after the caucus, you go back and change back to a libertarian? Right. <laughs> you know, in the, in the past, and this was the year too that I decided if Trump gets the nomination, and we'll talk why I like Trump. I'm, I'm sure we'll get to that. If Trump gets the nomination, I'm going to vote for Trump. If he doesn't get the nomination, um, you know, long before that, I'll be back to libertarian, and I will probably vote for the libertarian candidate at that time. No matter who it is, do you, do you are you a party line kind of guy? In the past, I have. I when I first registered to vote, I voted. I registered Republican, 
um, which was against everything my family did. I grew up in a family of Democrats and pro-union guys, uh, pro-union family. Uh, I broke that mold by going Republican. But as I got older and, and more involved in, in establishing my beliefs or my philosophies, um, of course, it, it's, it goes more libertarian. However, in the past, it's always been that thing, and I've struggled with it. You know, if I vote libertarian, then that's that's washing. You know, they always say in the past, oh, that's a vote for the Democrat person, and I didn't want to wash out, um, you know, the, the 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 Republican thing. So in the past, I've always voted Republican. There's never been a Democrat. As a matter of fact, I hate to say that I voted party lines, but I did because everybody right. in that party had no whether or not I liked them or liked everything about them. That, of course, isn't true, but they 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 acted in ways that, that you know mimicked whatever my views were and right. what I thought was right. So as it turns out, everybody I voted for always was Republican. Right. So this is this is what I I really like this that um, there are some people like uh, Sierra here who is a registered libertarian <coughs> who doesn't change her party to vote in the primary right I do not. or to participate in the primary and because she still believes that her small number of crazy libertarian people will actually get the libertarian person One voted of these days. while you understand that right now at this point in time that's just not going to happen so you might as well pick the best of what is going to be offered is well, that well no if trump doesn't get the nomination i'll vote libertarian no matter what uh, yeah it, and you know people, people. well the thing is people would say that <laughs> what that that dilutes the republican vote but you know, if I were to vote, say, a Ted Cruz who I don't like, right? If I were to vote for him, and let's say Hillary gets the the, the, the presidential, um, she wins. I would feel my vote was wasted on Cruz instead of going towards the you know the libertarian candidate. If nobody ever votes because of this fear, then the libertarian will never you know gain the momentum. Hmm. It my so here's why. I vote libertarian, although I don't always vote for libertarian. The last depends time I voted, on the it depends on the candidate. I absolutely vote based on the candidate, um, especially when it comes to like state state level stuff, because sometimes I prefer a Democrat in this position over the Republican, and sometimes I prefer the Republican over the Democrat. It just depends on what position and what they're working on and what their stance is on things, because I am socially liberal fiscally conservative which is the very definition of a libertarian um and sometimes there are democrats who are like that and sometimes there are republicans that's who are supposed like that. to be the definition of a libertarian but yes. every other including you every libertarian i have ever met fucking crazy how am i crazy <laughs> i want my gay friends to be able to own guns and protect their legal no, no, no. Fields. i'm talking about i'm just talking about the way that you approach life sometimes it's amazing the thoughts that run through your head. Is it is I, I don't think that's a political thing. It's just maybe a crazy thing. Well, that's true. <laughs> now, uh, trumpeter here. I don't know you that well, and uh, all our interactions have been work related. So it's very calm and quiet, and so I haven't ever seen him as crazy. But now it's that I know that similar. he's a libertarian, I can imagine in your private life you're kind of crazy, probably. <laughs> We're and very just, similar just, in attitude, personality. Yeah. Just to clarify, work related. Um, you're a dancer, right? And he is a patron right. of the dancing establishment <laughs> just to clarify i mean you did open the door on that i figured we owe a clarification he is into asian chicks <laughs> <laughs> i dated one asian chick and i'm painted with a very broad you name. are yeah that's how it works you marry that one has, that's what happens you didn't have her shipped over did you no okay no, <laughs> no but we know someone who is <laughs> i have to step over okay um so what we really wanted to bring you on here for, not to, you know, discuss the, you know, pluses or minuses of voting liber libertarian or Republican or Democrat, is because the three of us, though we have similar and yet also differing views on political stances and who we're voting for, none of us could comprehend why anyone <laughs> would want to vote for Trump. I, as a libertarian, could not possibly vote for him because he is, in my opinion, just way, way too under educated 
in the realm of politics. Like he's never, I mean, he's a great businessman. Everyone who says, oh, he's failed at so many things. I'm like, but he's always come back with a success after that. And maybe it fails, maybe whatever. I mean, he's a, you, you can't, you can't beat the marketing this guy's got. Like he is a hell of a marketer. If anyone in the world could market the hell out of America, it would definitely be Donald Trump. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, I just don't think he's the right one because he's already a laughing stock internationally, and it would really only make America that much more of a laughing stock. I can't get behind Trump. I just can't get behind a guy whose hair may or may not have existed on another plane of existence besides ours. Well, I'm not sure that Trump is the laughing stock of the world or, or other countries. or and, and even if he is, I don't know that I would care. Uh -huh. um, I, don't, I think that America is um, a laughing stock now. Um, oh, yeah, I are. mean, if you look at, for example, the Iran, the Iran deal we just made, and yet they're still launching rockets off in, in you know, against this treaty we have with them after we made this deal that's going to net them, what do they say, $1.5 billion. They're thumbing their nose at us. And I think right. the rest of, to the rest of the world that makes us look weak. Now, that's a fine line. I don't want to be the bully of the world by any stretch. Um, but I don't want to be seen as the weakling or, you know, you know, anything other than the superpower that we are. We are a superpower. But you feel that that Trump is the one to cultivate that? That that we are now the superpower and Trump is our leader? Well, we all know he pushed the big red fucking button, so that might put the fear of God into some people. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know but either. I'm, you know, when you when you, you compare somebody you know, I have these lines that when you compare somebody to a Hitler or or you bring up the well he's gonna have the his hand on the button, do we trust this guy to have his hand on the button? Or you start saying, "Oh, he has small hands," or you know, you, the, the 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 personal attacks. <laughs> I think that sort penis. of takes away from you know, truly, at some point, uh, it takes away from the, the the real argument or the real discussion, you know, of, I, of his abilities. I, I think you're absolutely right. I think uh, the jokes that have been made um, do play into the not taking serious of this candidate, Donald Trump, but. You have to kind of admit Donald Trump and the things that he says mystify and boggle people's minds of why would a legitimate candidate say things like this? Why Such would as. he make a joke about his hands and his penis? Why would he cultivate why would he say people love me so much I could stand in the street and shoot someone and they'll still vote for me? He adds to it. The, like he adds to it and then people take it and roll with it. Like I don't believe in necessarily the, the things that he said years ago. Like when he said his daughter, something along the line, she's so hot that – if he you know, would he date her if she wasn't my well, daughter. that was a long time ago. You know, and actually, I mean, she, I thought she, well, but not right. during this period. Right. Not not during a relevant period. And let's be honest, she is pretty hot. I mean, I don't blame him. But, um, but bringing, you know, those things up for somebody who hasn't, he hasn't been a political figure all this time. He was just a, you know, regular businessman and a TV personality. He, he was... It was part of what he does, you know, is entertainment to bring these things up um, and to make him give this persona. Is that any of us? Do we have oh, a caller? It, no, it looks like people keep trying to call my Toxie Facebook page. Don't <laughs> stop. <laughs> uh, uh, Don't call Lawrence, my Toxie Facebook page. Lawrence, I never answer that. Lawrence them. of Arabia has gotten calls, too. Are they for the show? Okay, good, good, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, okay. this is on the show one. I just, I don't know. Come on, asshole. I didn't realize that's what it was. I apologize. That's all um, right. So, so, okay, so forgetting all of that, now he's still saying things. I mean, he's still, these words that come out of his mouth are... Sometimes he opens his mouth and just the weirdest shit falls out. She's like, right. like, look, it's a fucking platypus. What the fuck? Oh. Right, like he addressed the hands. He addressed them. He could have let it would have died. He could have let it go. Like nobody does anyone really care what his penis if, looks like? If I he would have let it go, it. most people would have said, you know, that was kind of, and they were already saying, uh, Marco Rubio said it's unbelievable that he would bring up his penis size uh in, in this I mean, granted, he's the one that started it, but Donald Trump could have let it go. Yeah. He could have just instead, said instead, he could have just said, Why well, I I don't think my, my penis is is, is 
particularly important in this conversation. <laughs> Let's move on, Mr. Rubio. No, you know, I, you know, I'll address the question of um, <clears throat> when he said he could shoot somebody. Yeah, that was dumb. There's no doubt that was dumb. Um, the fact that he doesn't shy away from somebody making fun of his hair or his, his spray on tan um, or his hands or whatever. And then, you know, he takes it one step further. He, he owns what he says and he owns what people say about him. Uh, I think it's funny if they're going to make fun of his hands and he correlates it to his penis size. Uh, good for him, by the way. These are big. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord! <laughs> uh, but but yeah, he he said some dumb things. But is, is it really any more dumb or any worse than, than than stupid stuff that other people have said? That you know, I mean, yes, you can go and you it's can certainly Google. not any worse than Bush. Anything Bush ever fell out for anything that that you could Google, you know, Bush bloopers or or whatever you would YouTube for that, and or Obama has said or things that Hillary said. I mean, it's it's it at the end of the day, it all washes out. They have both made bloopers. They have both said spoke out of turn. And and by the way, I give passes. I'm not a Bernie or a or a Hillary supporter by any stretch. I don't believe in those policies. And they've said dumb things. And my conservative friends or my libertarian friends or peop, you know birds of my feather kind of group, they uh, they've jumped on that. And I go, really? That's what you're worried about? Um, I can remember years ago somebody saying, um, oh, I would never vote for Hillary because she had a, a lesbian encounter with Marky Post. And I go, really? Whoa. Yeah, you never heard that? No, I'm looking Google. Oh yeah, let's look that up. So, Is there a video of that? I sat down and went, oh, for Pete's sake. First of all, I doubt she had a lesbian, uh, you know, encounter with Marky Post. Mm -hmm. And even if she did, like, really, that's what you're going to complain about? Uh, you know, like, you, you don't, you don't have to, you don't want to complain about her policies or this or that or, or Clinton Care when they try to pass, you know, things that Republicans or people like I myself would be against. Those are the things I'll discuss. I, I don't care if she had a lesbian affair. This is probably my libertarian coming out. I don't care that Bill Clinton, you know, got a Hummer in the Oval Office or whatever. You know, it, I think does it, it a show thing. a high? Well, you know, you could argue the morality there, and that has to to tie into all this somewhere. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, are his policies and what he's doing is he moving America forward in the way I believe America needs to be moved forward? And I and I believe, in spite of some of Trump's shortcomings. Uh, you know, I know he has used eminent domain himself to further some of his bill, uh, business dealings, for an example. That's not something I believe in or that I'm – that's not why I'm voting for him. As a matter of fact, it makes me shake my head libertarian-wise going, okay, that's not <laughs> that's real not positive for me. That's not man. No. But you know, do, do the positives outweigh the negatives with him? Will he move America better? Will he make the economy better, which I believe he will? And I think once the economy um, it picks up, I think most other things will start falling in place. Do you want to talk about him being the great uniter? <laughs> let me – well, really quick. Let me just share some things going on in chat here. Um, Trump is popular because by not acting according to the established rules, he is pulling back the curtain to show the whole system is fake and phony. That is step one in changing. Um, the difference between Trump and Clinton is simply that she is more willing to lie and hide what she really thinks and does. How is this better? Um, those were Cali Guy. I knew that. <laughs> uh, Clash said all the politicians are bought and paid for, while the middle class is arguing and divided what the rich want. And um, Cali Guy, her campaign manager, publicly stated that they needed to craft an image to make her appear more sincere. That sums up the problem right there. Kelly Guy, did you miss the part that she had a lesbian affair with Marky Post? <laughs> did you miss it? Alleged. What? Alleged? <laughs> Neither one of them chubby enough for him. Okay, so one of my biggest issues with uh, Donald Trump, and um, it's, you know, it's not his hair, and it's not his tan, because those were given from way back in the day. We were going to get our very right? own floof-haired orange president. He kicked off his campaign saying that Mexicans that were coming over the border were rapists. Uh, but some of them may have been good, you know, uh, thieves, rapists, criminals, whatever. And then he went it, he makes everything so divisive. There are uh, one of my main stories that I wanted to talk about tonight was the young student from uh, Illinois, University of Illinois, 
who was manhandled by the audience getting kicked out of a Donald Trump rally. Um, one was a young, uh, uh, going to be a Marine, he and out. he got kicked out of the Marines after his recruiter saw him. Another was a 75-year-old Korean War veteran who was caught on uh, a reporter's film, uh, just racial slurs all over the place. Um it's okay to be a racist bigot out loud, out proud, if you're a Donald Trump follower. And it's one of the things that I really don't like about it because, you know, I, I am not a racist bigot and I'm, I can't wait for the day when the old people who are racist bigots just go away so we can have now young fresh people who don't believe that way anymore a little less racial bigotry <laughs> a little less racial bigotry well, unfortunately you know? a lot of it's being carried on generation it is to generation. it is so it, it's but it's slowly getting weeded out mm -hmm. you know um there there are lots there are a lot of really i'm sorry to say older people who i will not talk to anymore because of their out blatant racial bigotry mm -hmm. there are some that and even the young people, I know them. Yeah, you're you're a friend of mine, but we don't hang out. I'm not going to spend time with you. You know, I'm not going to support you in whatever you do. I just can't take the monkey jokes anymore. <laughs> so, but this is what this is what, in my opinion, Donald Trump and his campaign has been breeding. He breeds this. It it's breathed life into it. Um, really quick, there's a, a few more things. Yeah. Just to share a lot going on in chat. It's political, um, of course there is. I doubt he will uh I doubt he will because even if he gets the popular vote, the Electoral College will put through who they want and it won't be Trump. Which That's true. If but I think that's a a, a bad precedent to set. Because then it, it happened before. It has right. happened, but and, uh, people lose their trust. Yeah, they lose their trust in the whole the whole system. Um, I actually one of the things that I heard today on Rachel Maddow, which is where I get a lot of my news, is that uh, there are some Republicans who are saying Donald Trump at the convention will not get the nomination no matter what. It's only been done once before that uh, uh, they were back in like '68, William Hardy or something like that. I can't remember the name, but. Um, where the popular candidate did not get the um, the, nomination. the nomination. Well, that's kind of the whole point of having the conventions is that, so, okay, so we know what the public wants. Now what do we want as a party? And that's usually the party follows the popular vote, but they don't have to. That's kind of the point. Well, isn't the same issue um, with the Democrat side too? Because uh, I've heard people, and I, I wish I knew more about it to – talk about it intelligently here but they say there's no way bernie sanders who by the way i like the momentum he's gaining i, I wish he was doing yeah. better i don't like his policies by any stretch but i like what he's doing at any rate there's just no way in hell he's going to get that nomination because the establishment the democratic establishment is not gonna let it happen well, the Democratic establishment back in, uh, what is it, 2008, wasn't going to let uh, Barack Obama get it either. Yep, but, and man, <laughs> he swept it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, And that was because of the popular yeah. vote, the grassroots popular vote. So I don't know. Uh, although we went off subject here uh, a little bit because we were talking about what it is that I see that Donald Trump yeah. brings to this race. Well, you didn't – you know, I, I don't – first of all, Multi things here. First of all, you're never going to get rid of racial bigots. For the entire rest of humankind, there's going to be somebody that doesn't like somebody because you're a different color, you have a different sexual orientation, you have a different whatever. Hopefully we can take all those people out of being in charge though. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be great. I, you know, <laughs> with, with Trump, he does say things uh, sometimes that are um, – all or nothing kind of things. Right. Yes. No. To say all immigrants coming across the Mexican border is – they're all rapists and, and criminals. That's, of course, not true. There is – but a lot of people that are being uh, arrested for criminal activities do turn out to be um, immigrants. A doesn't – okay, doesn't go back and forth. Okay, just because the sky is blue doesn't – I don't remember what I'm going to go with that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but he is saying that there is a problem with um, 
people coming across the border unfettered without being checked. I think there was just – correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't something just happen where they said now – you know, back in the day when you're coming to Ellis Island, if you had a communicable disease or something like that, you weren't allowed to enter this country until right. you were – okay. They just – somehow that was overturned, and that is not a criteria now. If you have some sort of disease, you can still get allowed uh, – you can still be allowed to come into this country. They're not using it as criteria. You know, and part of the problem, as some people are saying, is that could cause a resurgence of, you know, polio and right. blah, 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 blah. I don't, you know. Only I, if you don't vaccinate your own kids. I don't know what the, autism. I don't know what the process. Don't look at me. <laughs> I don't know what the process is for allowing an immigrant anymore, but I do, I have read stories of, um, and I'm not going to say um, asylum, uh, not, no, 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 that's not the word, uh, where they're put into cells and holding yeah. cells or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Important. I don't think that's done anymore, yeah. but I do believe that th at least they're checked. Well, I don't, you know, uh, especially a, if they're, you know, fished out of the water from a yeah. boat that has been, you know, uh, capsized or something like yeah. that. But the dry foot. <laughs> uh, you know, cosmetics yeah. are going to be on the scene yeah. anyway, so they're checked there. But yeah, I, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know the process, so I couldn't really answer that. I mean, let's but I can, I can see what you're saying. But he's talking about Muslims, no Muslims, and if they are here, the ones that are here need to wear. Need to wear a badge or uh, ID, a visual ID that we can see. So, what the head dress isn't <laughs> enough? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not aware well, that he, he said about the badge, but you know, uh, I, should you should have that, some, maybe not a badge. Yeah. They it was some, they needed to have identification. They, they needed to be. Uh, no, 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 they, have no, no, no. Here, so that so if you are Muslims here in this country, needed, should wear something to identify. They them. should have. They should have some. Everybody should have some sort of identification. Yeah, no, he no, was no, talking he about was some talking sort of physical about. thing on their clothing. No, no, no. I don't. I don't think he was. I think he says that all their IDs need to say that they're Muslim. They need to. They need to have their religion printed on their IDs. Then we but should all have our religion yeah. printed on our IDs. I, I, I don't disagree. If, if we're going to make one group of people do it, we all have to do it. That's just the way it should be. But they needed to be known. And I, I don't even know if he put it – he said it was on their IDs. I believe he said there needs to be a list. There just needs to be a list of all the Muslims that are in the country – uh, go to all the synagogues, go to uh, all the places, uh, community centers, and make sure that we just have a list of all the Muslims that are in this country, and no other Muslims should be allowed in the country. Okay. So are we no longer allowed to convert? Like, let's say five years from now, I decide that uh, Islam is the way to go for me, that Sharia oh, law is how I want to be. How you doing, Cat Stevens? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, you know, could I convert? Like, would I have to go get a new identification card? Uh, well, I would know. I be allowed I, I was to just, convert? It was, I think he yeah. was just thinking of ways that to control the Muslim terrorist population, we needed to have a list. <sighs> There's no doubt we have an issue with immigrants coming into this country that are committing crimes, whether it be violent crimes, sexual crimes, ter crimes of terror. And I, I don't, you know, I can't say what, I know what he says and, and you know, what he puts out there, but the truth is, you know, there does, does need to be a way to control or get a handle on some of these problems we have. But doesn't that doesn't that same sentiment work for actual Americans already living in America that commit those crimes? Yes, it should. Because it's the same, if not worse, crimes. One of the last uh, shootings, except for that one in San Diego, all the rest of them have been American citizens, have they not? Mm -hmm. Am I wrong yeah. in that? No. You're okay. Right. So th we've had one with a no, couple we've... of people associated with Muslims, or Muslim extremists, rather, and um, the rest of them have been American people. The, but the actually, I mean, with... correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're talking about San Bernardino, wasn't the one who committed them, wasn't um, he... An he American a, citizen? He was an American citizen. She was, she was not. not, but they were both shooting people. And but he was still an American citizen. Unless, Regardless of his religion, he was still an American citizen who was here legally and right. was a citizen of our country. Right. But if so, the CIA hasn't found that video on Facebook on how to unlock an iPhone, then you know, <laughs> they can't tell if they're affiliated with uh terrorists. Right. Yet. So right. here's the here's the here's the, the crux of the problem here. I'm gonna be the voice the of reason of in the middle. <laughs> Oh, so, we're screwed. <laughs> yeah, you're screwed once I become the voice of reason. Because she's a libertarian. <laughs> Crazy. So, oh, yes, we do have a serious problem with crime from immigrants. But we also have a serious cr problem with crime with American citizens. Sure. And I don't think that the two are mutually exclusive. I, I think the problem is we need to get a handle 
on the serious crime that we have. So the statistics show, however, that crime rates are down, have been down for years now. The problem is, is it's no longer, you know, just like somebody broke in and stole my laptop. Now it's somebody broke in, raped my kids, killed my dog, and stole my laptop. You know, our crimes are more violent, but they're happening less often. We need to get a handle on the violent crime that happens in this country, whether it's immigrants or American citizens. But, but even, you know, but I don't even think the ones that commit crimes need to be the deciding factor. We have a problem with a large amount of um, immigrants coming in uh, from, from the – All from the over. South. From, yeah, okay, all over. But let, let's talk about – because we were talking about people coming up from Mexico. You know, there are pamphlets that the, that the Mexican government prints that tells people how to get into this country illegally. There, I don't know if you've seen them. They they print they they send those people it, here. It, it, it's instructions are in every uh, tele, na, nighttime daytime television show. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> maybe Just he get says, a Cody, he, pay him a lot of money. No, the the one from the Mexicans <laughs> tells says just, don't get. I'm just those kidding. those people to bring them across. Joke, they yeah. you know. There's, that's the wrong way to go. I know you're making a joke, but those those are the wrong way to go. Um, he, yeah, I know. Uh, he, I wanted him to finish. I was going to introduce he, him. He does say that, and he has said many times, and don't forget he did carry the Latino vote uh, in this state, but he did say we're not against letting foreigners in, N nobody – immigrants in. We just got to get a handle. They got to do it properly they got to go through the legal channels they got to be checked for diseases they got to have background checks uh it's interesting that you know there was a, one of these things you see obama said in the same speech that uh don't worry about all these uh immigrants coming in they're all going to be have background checks in the same speech he said that we need to ban assault rifles because federal background checks don't work you know he 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 kind of talked out of both sides of his mouth i i can see the uh, issue there so first time ever we have a caller uh robert from here in las vegas on the line robert you got two minutes what do you got to say hi this is robert i just calling in to kind of back up the uh, trumpeter there um the one, first thing is i'm a very uh staunch trump supporter and i follow politics my whole life the last republican i was actually enthused about was Reagan. And besides that, everybody, Democrat, um, Republican, it doesn't really matter. They all kind of are just the same. It's like plug and play. It doesn't matter who they are. They all say the same thing. It's all vetted. It's all uh, pulled. And you know when they get in, they're not going to stop the illegal immigration. They're not going to do what they say. They're going to do what their donors, their base, their uh, um, basically, the people who bought them, the puppet masters, are going to uh, tell them that's what they're going to do. And that's what they do, and that's why we're at where we're at. Now, the defini definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. We've done that. We've got the same result. So that's why I'm supporting Trump, because it may not be everything we want it to be. But it's different. It might work. We know what we have doesn't work. Okay, Robert, so le <laughs> this kind of argument kind of boggles me because, okay, yeah, he's different, and so maybe this will work. But the, the, stuff, that he pro uh, the stuff that he supports and the stuff that he says is, is already known to be divisive and pulls people Art. apart and makes them angry and and uh yeah. so even though it might be a different way is it still the right way i mean can there be a different different way that Let's might be better it. than it's this way like this you got you got record breaking turnout record breaking you got people watching these debates in the millions and millions more than they have before he's saying something that people are thinking they're just afraid to say he's saying something that it's a movement that started. So you have, you know, uh, majority rules. You have a lot of people who are saying this guy is saying what I've been thinking for so long. For example, um, you have you have immigration. Okay, 
How many times we had we've heard them sit up there and say, "Well, we need a leader who uh, does comprehensive uh, immigration reform," and and you're like, "What the hell does that mean?" I don't know, but you hear election after election after election after election. Meanwhile, you're 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 worried about your kids getting addicted from on drugs from Mexico. You're worried about your job getting taken from immigrants. You're worried about wages dropping, the dollar value of the dollar dropping. And that's just one subject. You know, you take China and all these trade deals. It, these people that we have in power right now, they are puppets. They're human puppets. They're bought and paid for. They do tricks. You know, I don't want to go into a kind of a lewd, uh, 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 kind of a, uh, statement, but they basically are bought and paid for, and they do the tricks that they're told to do. I don't, I don't absolutely and, disagree with you there. Uh, politicians okay. through the years have to, um, have to uh, do th that. There you go, pander to the people who support them. Robert, I want to thank you so much for calling in. Uh, you're the very first caller we've ever had on the show. Thank you so uh, much. Uh, drop us a line, uh, and uh, we'll make sure we give you kudos on the on the Facebook page or the website. Uh, did you want to say anything to Robert before he goes? Well, I want to thank uh, Robert for the call and the support for uh, Trump. You know, I, I, I agree with you know, but something that he was saying. Well, first of all, I don't – getting back to – you would, were talking there. I don't agree that, that he's decisive and he's pulling people apart. I think it's just the opposite. I think uh, – and I can back that up if you want to talk about that. But what, you know, for years, everybody has always said we need, you know, Republicans and Democrats are two sides of the same coin. Uh, we need to get somebody else in here that's not a, a beltway politician or a career politician. We need somebody in here. You know, we heard it with Mitt Romney. We need somebody that's a businessman. Um, you know, you hear all these things and it, here comes Trump. He's not a politician. He's not a uh, – he is a businessman. Uh, he's been a successful businessman, um, and he's going to run this country like a business. That's the other thing you always hear, and, and here's this guy. So I get why you know you guys as Democrats, liberal Democrats, don't like him. It pains me even more when I see the Cruz and the Rubio come out against him. Uh, yeah. You know, and I think honestly they're – you know, boy, this is the buzzword uh, lately. You know, they're establishment. And they're afraid that he's going to break that establishment and break their strong, you know, their 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 grip on their jobs. Here's the one shiny thing that you can take from that: they're uh, they're delving to the lower places to insult Trump. Just makes them work, look uh, so much worse now. So, well, I've said this from the beginning: Trump is going to be the make or break point of this two party system that we have. Um, I don't think it's going to go that far. I think it is going to go that far. At, 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 if Trump gets the nomination, there will be so many Republicans disgusted by it that they will probably go vote libertarian. And there will be so, but unfortunately there's a shit ton of Democrats going after Trump too. But, um, but I think it will destroy the Republican party on so many different levels. It'll faction it into a ton of tiny little factions and it won't be Democrats versus Republicans anymore. It'll be Democrats versus all of these other tiny little factions. And I think at this point we might actually get to it where it's no longer a two-party system that we now have three or four to choose from legitimately. Earlier in chat, and really quick, I apologize to everyone because I can't get all of this into the conversation, but chat has been really um, happening tonight. She's going to copy and paste um, it tonight. So yeah, we can I will. I, I was just looking for the, the document again. Um, but if the uh, hotshot LV had said before, if the GOP denies Trump the nod, he will switch to an independent candidate and split the ticket. Mm -hmm. Oh, so. he's, he's, didn't he sign that? He did sign it, but he has also threatened it a, a few times in the last month. I know he threatened it once, but I, it didn't go very far. He might have done it more that I don't know about it. But and I don't want to say threatened. He just mentioned it, right, I right. think, in passing that he, he'd yeah, be more right. than willing to jump uh, from the Republican ticket. I don't um, think he will. I think he'll stick to his word because if for no other reason, it wouldn't benefit him at all to go to a Republican. He's not going to pull people as an independent, I don't think. Right. Or and, as a nonpartisan. Right. So uh, anything else? Uh, yeah, there, <laughs> there was a lot more. Anything um, you want to mention? That is, you know, term limits for all, somebody suggested. 
Uh, somebody else felt the right man for the office of the president should have to be dragged into office kicking and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Just like our very first president was. He did not want to be president. The people made him be president, whether he wanted to be or not. <laughs> so maybe they should change it. Actually, and they it's... wanted him to be king. And yeah. he said, no. no. Uh, definitely not that. Right. Um, so let's get to the curse word of the week real quick, because we're already like six minutes in to the end of the show. We have and like we haven't four even minutes done left. It. Haven't even done it yet. It's time for the curse word of the week, brought to you by Sierra from SinCityBounty.com. This week's curse word of the week is fuck nozzle a fuck nozzle is a person who believes that the international space station is fake or someone who does not agree with neil degrasse tyson who's the most amazing person ever <laughs> so uh we got this word from um i can't even remember the scientist's name who posted it uh it was on their twitter it's on our facebook page i posted it on our wall it was a tweet from uh i think his name is brian Something he's a physicist other. Anyway, um, it was he called uh, people who didn't believe in the International Space Station a uh, shitwit. A shitwit, which is coming next week. He was corrected by his fan base, and uh, they are called fuck nozzles. So we love this word, and thank you to uh, the scientist. (laughs) As you all know, we're big science nerds. At least two thirds of us are. Yeah, Yeah, two thirds. (laughs) (laughs) I thought he was. um, I thought he was a character on a a TV show. Um, How how much time we got there, Lawrence of Arabia? Three and, and a half, half minutes. Uh, was the? Did we cover your story? Did you want to talk about? Oh, you wanted to talk about castration in Alabama. Time? Yeah, you know what? Probably we'll, we'll save it. We'll, we'll save it for next, next week. week. Okay. Google castration, Alabama. I really hope my ex-husband goes through chemical this. Chemical castration. No, it's physical. Is it physical? It's a physical. Physical castration. It's actually, oh well, here, if, if we have a minute, we'll make it yeah, nice yeah. and quick. They're um, introducing a, a bill for um, sex offender castration, but for children, if it involves a child 12 Pedo- and under, pedophiles, yeah. where they have to pay for their own surgical castration. Now, we'll have to f- I'll have to read the article because I want to know, is it they've actually committed a crime against yes. a child or they just own child porn? No, no. They get, um, in order to get, they have to be convicted and in prison. Okay. And before they can get out, they have to pay for the surgical castration. I'm moving to Alabama, even though I hate Alabama, so that I can vote for this bill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, I'm so, um, I was mentioning this before. I'm so, so back and forth on this because I actually, um, you know, I, I, I do think it's kind of inhumane. I'm not a, a pusher for the death penalty. I'm all like, How, we need to put an express lane in. However, I draw the line when it comes to child sex offenders. Like that is just one thing, you know, I, I, I feel most people can be kind of rehabilitated with the exception. Proven child sex offenders. That's correct. Oh, Proven. Yeah. it. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the turnaround rate for convicted felons uh, when we talk about this subject, right? Right, right. Myst- uh, mystery studio guest, Trumpeter, Trumpeter. thank you for coming. Did... <laughs> We weren't too hard on you, I don't think. We didn't. We did threaten to beat the trumpet supporter in the corner uh, with did. a chair, um, but they we did. like you, so. <laughs> well, thank you. No, uh, I enjoyed myself. This was good, very good, good. fun. And before we leave, I want to uh, wish you all a happy uh, International Women's Day today. <laughs> Power to the vagina. Uh, Toxie was talking earlier, and she said, you know, if it was International Men's Day, there would be such uh, a roar right? about it. We'd be it. so pissed. Right? <laughs> we and would be, and I would be mad that everyone else is mad, because I think that we should support men just as much as we support women. I, I, well, Father's Day was an afterthought to Mother's Day, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. <laughs> but um, if, we didn't have, if we didn't have things like it's uh, Women's History Month, Mm-hmm. Um, if we didn't have little things that set it aside, we would be in trouble of losing it altogether because of the or original society. patriarchy that's been in this uh, uh, world since the very beginning of time. But that doesn't mean you have to vote for Hillary to get rid of the patriarchy. There's plenty of libertarians out there who think that men shouldn't run this country either. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Anything else to add? We're out. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, that we love all. you. Uh, SinCityBounty.com. Our video will be up on our YouTube channel very soon. Go to our Facebook. Leave us some messages. We're on Twitter. Not on Instagram yet because these girls won't handle it. <laughs> uh, but we do have a Tumblr, so you can always follow us there too. Sin City Bounty, either all together or separate. We love you. Thank you, Trumpeter. Thank Woo. you very much. <laughs> Bye. Get it, get it.
Views and opinions expressed on this program were those of the hosts and guests and did not necessarily reflect those of